we are doing well welcome in this video uh, we have created a very amazing course for you guys in order to become professional in flutter and getx so we have played uh, event management system app through flutter and getx in this course you will learn everything in order to become professional flutter developer so what we will be expecting from you guys in order to start this course this course is named ems uh, and this course is basically offered by dot coder which is a leading software development company which provides software services like mobile application development and other software development so sorry uh, what this course will cover this course is basically for everyone uh, who want to start flutter or he's already started flutter and want to become their skill sharp so basically what this cover this course will cover it will cover everything starting from zero to hero in this course we will be building a complete app from scratch we will be building a screen and then we will be integrating backend in that screen uh, in order to make you guys more faster to learn and to implement so we will be doing screen wise backend right guys of course we will be building complete app from scratch including front end and back end so we will be building uh, app where we will build the uh, ui of one screen and in the next video we will be building back end for the same screen so using this method uh, i ensure that you guys will learn front end and back end at the same time and more quickly uh, so uh, to make you more confident and flutter developer in less time so we will be doing screen wise back end like uh, if I develop the front end for the login screen and then I will be going to develop the back end for that login screen. So uh, this approach will help us to uh, make you guys more comfortable in less time. So what app we will be doing and how it will look like. Let me show you. So guys this is Figma and I have uh, designed very simple for screen uh, and this is the app that we will be building. Uh, for now these are only five screens and I will extend it time to time uh, so this will be a complete solution for event management system uh, so let's get started first of all we have to convert this five screen into uh, flutter code so uh, how we will do is uh, and uh, how we will import assets in the application uh, we will be learning each and everything in this course so basically i have created uh, i have created ems project uh, in android studio so now let's first of all create uh, project structure for the application let's create assets folder uh, for the application all assets related to the project will go into that directory so it should be named as assets uh, all the pictures or fonts or other related stuff will be go inside assets folder and we have uh, in this course we will be following mvc pattern model view controller so now create a folder for that as well uh, we have a model folder and then we will be creating a folder and controller and then we have to create a folder for views views mean basically all the front end or the UI will comes inside the view uh, and all the models of the application will go in, inside the model and all controller will go inside the controller folder. <clears throat> now let's import some assets from the design. Uh, first of all we have to import this image from the design. So we have to um, select this. So yeah it is already grouped. Uh, now let's import how you guys can import it just by click on export and uh, you guys can see the preview as well and i'm going to uh, export in the four dimensions or the 4x quality in the form of png so i have clicked export and this particular asset is exported for us let me show you so it is here this image is downloaded for us let me save it inside assets folder sorry uh, i'm going to name it onboard icon 
and next is we have to import this particular icon vector and this export and now let's group it out click on export button and let's click on add button so this will basically uh, make it exportable for us see the preview and now click on export so we have exported download button or upload button as well let's copy it to the assets folder and paste it over here I'm going to change the name is upload icon next thing is uh, we have yeah we have to import these two as well also Google Google underscore icon and let's check for the Facebook icon as well. So uh, in this module we have got all the assets that we are required to create this beautiful module. Uh, this is basically for the onboarding and uh, authentication purpose so we will be extending the design time to time as we are covering up uh, things in the course uh, now let's uh, register this asset folder with our app how we can declare uh, our uh, our assets for the use inside app is we have to go inside the popspec.ml file and if you guys can see this it is then to add assets to your application add an asset section like this so basically we have to uncomment this yeah uh, uh, in Mac you can press command and uh, forward slash it get uncommented directly so first thing you have to do is to remove the uh, one space and also you have to declare the folder name over here so in our case it's assets so we have to name it assets there are multiple ways of registering assets into your application uh, the long way is you just uh, register all the icons over here like for example uh, I am going to show you uh, facebook underscore icon dot png so I have registered one uh, facebook icon for registering google I will do same thing assets slash uh, google underscore icon dot png so uh, if you have 10 uh, uh, assets and you have to use it in your application uh, you have two ways either you register it uh, individually or you guys can register the whole folder to be used as well uh, so in this course as i want you to become more proficient and efficient flutter developers so uh, we will be using the best approach uh, by removing uh, all the extra details and leaving the only uh, folder name over here also remember to have it the forward slash as well this is the proper way to register assets folder inside your pubspec.yml file so yeah guys we are uh, set up with the assets and we have registered in pubspec.yml file as well now let's create it uh, now let's come to the front end of the application <clears throat> as you guys can see we have created uh, three folders for controller model and view uh, now it's time to uh, do some front end inside view folder.
I'm going to name it. Uh, we are going to work on this particular design. So I'm going to name it onboarding screen. We have to create a um, oh sorry. We have to create a dart file over here. Onboarding underscore screen. Uh, make sure to use uh, <coughs> rules that apply for the Dart file name. Uh, every time you name a Dart file, uh, make sure you uh, use lower letters with underscore. I'm going to import material. Uh, guys, if you heard about material uh, design, so Flutter uses material design as well. For importing those uh, rules in your application, you have to first import material.dart package. <clears throat> so now let's concentrate or then on this particular screen. Uh, so if you guys can see, uh, there are basically text and another text and inside, uh, and then we have uh, this particular image in the center with a little bit space and again another widget containing multiple text and button widget. So basically this is using a column hierarchy. So uh, let's uh, create our stateless widget. Don't worry, I'm going to explain everything to you guys uh, on boarding screen. <clears throat> and then we have to make it a scaffold. And inside scaffold we have to put a body of column. So yeah guys, basically in Flutter, we have two type of widgets. Uh, one is stateless widget and another is stateful widget. Uh, guys, uh, it is mentioned from the name or you guys can see from the name that one is stateless and another is stateful. Now what does state mean? State is basically uh, the condition of uh, widget that change. <coughs> so if you have a widget that does not change at all, so this should be stateless widget and if you have widget you click on it it change color or it change text or anything it changes is something that we know as a stateful widget right guys basically two widgets stateless stateful one is for uh, upgradation or upgrading the ui and one is static widgets stateless and stateful <coughs> So we have got the idea about stateless and stateful. So now let's start creating front end of the application. Uh, now we are going to make a front end of this particular screen. Uh, that is basically using a top to top down approach. Uh, mean this is a UI in a form of column. Uh, so we have uh, two text fields, image, and again some text fields and a button. So we will be using a column widget in this case. And column widget basically uh, expect children's C H I A and children is basically list of widgets. So we have to write one text widget with the caption "Welcome to EMS." Text is a form of widget in Flutter that takes one mm, must parameter that we have to provide is a string, and here we have to pass the text that we want to show on the screen. Welcome to EMS and second parameter that it accept is style uh, If you guys can see uh, style is accepting uh, Textile object so textile is basically a decoration object that Provide or that uh, do some styling on that particular text. So we have color We have font size We have font weight and other uh, attribute as well. So in our case we have uh, text with that so how we guys can extract attribute from that particular design uh, regarding this uh, we have welcome to EMS once I clicked on it in the inspect section you guys can see uh, attributes or properties of that particular text uh, we are using font pop-ins the weight of the text is 700 or bold and style is normal font size is 27 so we have to use this information in our Flutter app. Uh, <clears throat> regarding color, we have black color, color dot black, and font size is 
27 pixel font width is 700 font width top width 700 or also you guys can use bold as well or let's use bold okay let's let's make it uh, 700 weight and for the uh, poppins font family we have to install one uh, very handy plugin for it and it is named uh, google underscore fonts we have to install so uh, this file is also help us to import packages from the internet like in our case we are in need of font family and this information is uh, Providing by one particular plugin that is named Google Fonts. Google underscore fonts. If we search for it, uh, it is a Flutter package and it provides very huge information regarding fonts. So, uh, this is the um, pub.dev. This website is particular for uh, Flutter packages and you guys can see many packages are there like in our case i'm going to use google fonts first of all we have to click on install uh, in order to install this package uh, it is saying that if you if you run this command in your terminal this package will be added but if you want to install it implicitly then you have to copy this and paste under dependency section so under dependency we have covered you know icons as well so we have to paste it over here and click on pubcat it is installing the next thing is we have to import this plugin in order to use it copy and going to main pasting over here next step is we have to apply uh, poppins on the whole application uh, if you guys want to use uh, same font in the whole application so you have to apply it on a uh, app level but if you want to use this particular font on a specific widget then we have to use it on that particular widget so how we can use a uh, font on complete app or on a single widget will be showing you so in this case if you want to use uh, leto on this particular text widget then instead of text style you have to pause google fonts dot your particular font but if you want to use uh, the font family throughout the app then you have to go towards material app and theme inside theme you have to provide theme data with this information so in our case we are going to use uh, poppins throughout application so i'm going to paste and copy this information and inside material app let's paste over here and as you guys can see i am already making use of theme data so we have to remove this actually we have to remove the previous code as well that is given by the plugin let's remove this as well home page as well so I think we are done with this also remove constant uh, now once again let's click on pubget and let's start with the coding basically material app is the app that is getting called for the very first time when you app is launched uh, it takes many arguments as you guys can see theme it can take title and also it can take the home attribute so uh, we are considering this screen to be our very first screen so we should consider this screen as home screen and we have created a uh, widget for that it is called onboarding screen so now let's paste it over here and import it how we can import it by clicking on this particular line uh, and if you are using mac uh, click uh, press option and click uh, return and if you are using window uh, press command and click on enter so this menu will be populated and uh, accept the line from here 
so we have uh, set it our onboarding screen as a home screen now inside onboarding screen we have one scaffold scaffold is basically the architecture for the application like if you guys can see uh, in the normal in the real life example if someone is going to make a home or house what he do he is first of all creating the architecture for his house so basically scaffold is kind of architecture for our application uh, that takes that uh, your application can accept column in your body as well it can accept rows and everything that comes with flutter so first we have created welcome to ems now let's run application to see what we have achieved so far 